Hello everybody, this is Lollipop01 MLE here today and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. And yes, I do admit again that I've been slagging. Yeah, I've been really, really like behind. And again, that's mostly due to the fact that I was getting some videos done for Michael Jackson month, which is which starts on the 6th of June. As you are watching this, and if you're watching this after June 6th, then it, they're already up on my channel. But anyways, uh, to continue with the women of the Edwardian period, the royal women, we are doing Otma, or the last Grand Duchesses of Russia. And these were the daughters of Tsar Nicholas II and his wife Alexandra, a.k.a. Alex of Hesse. And if you have not seen my take of Alex, I recommend you watch my video of Alex and the rest of her sisters when I did the speed our episode of the Sisters of Hess. Now, um, obviously, I decided to do the big pair and little pair in this respective order. We're starting with Olga and Tatiana, uh, also known as the big pair. Olga was born on November 15th, 1895, that's towards the end of the year, before her parents were coronated, and she was originally going to be named Victoria after her maternal great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, that's a fun fact right there, but instead, um, Olga was named after her aunt, uh, Grand Duchess Olga Alexandrovna, and Grand Duchess Tatiana, who was born June 10th, 1897, yeah, her birthday's coming up, and they're the two oldest daughters of the Tsar and Tsarina, the last Tsar and Tsarina. Um, basically, Olga was more like her father. She loved education, she read the paper, she was into politics, and she was overall honest. Well, actually, she was brutally honest and emotional with a temper, but with a good heart. Um, she was one- she- was um one of her potential suitors was Carl II of Romania, who is known who is also the son of Queen Maria of Romania, Alex's cousin. But Olga did not like him at all, mostly because Carl was oh that's right he was a womanizer. And others included Edward the. 8th of the UK, and Prince Alexander of Serbia, although with the former, we know that um, Edward VIII married Wallace uh, Simpson, which was the reason why he abdicated the throne. And Olga made it clear that she wanted to marry a Russian and remain in Russia. And by the way, all four of the sisters did speak English and Russian. Mostly because Alexandra was mostly British. She was more British than German, by the way. And she could have... Um, Olga could have went with Mitya, who was um, one of the wounded soldiers that she cared for while she was a Red Cross nurse during World War I. And she was considered as the vintage beauty. Um, Tatiana, on the other hand was more closer to her mother their mother and she was um her mother's favorite daughter besides alexei being the favorite child because he was the son and he had um hemophilia she mostly re uh, resembled her mother and her aunt elizabeth adapting the hessen traits and tatiana became known as the modern beauty and when tatiana was younger she had longer hair, but since I'm basing all four of the sisters off of their 1914 formal portraits, photographs, I, Tati I associate Tatiana with short hair, obviously, for obvious reasons, and was very close with Olga from early childhood. However, Tatiana was more um, practical and had a natural talent for leadership, so had Alexei never, if Alexei was, if they could, didn't have Alexei, um, Olga or Tatiana could have been Tsarina because, yeah, Paul I made it clear that women weren't allowed to inherit the throne, but 
that's most that actually is more um semi salic i believe it was cold and again back in the day there were no problems until nicholas the second so he could, nicholas the second could have established absolute primogenitor if alexei if they did not had a son so that's a bit of trivia right there tatiana was bossy and she was nicknamed the governess and she was the group's representative and although not liking art at all she is actually very talented in making clothes embroidery crochet and creating hairstyles like a professional and like olga tatiana was also a red cross nurse and during that time she did fell in love once to dimitri malama who was another wounded so soldier and even alexander of serbia was considered as a potential husband and they did exchange letters during world war ii and alexander was actually quite was very distraught when he learned of her death and really and I forgot to mention here that Olga um, gets her traits from her father and mother and father and Tatiana from her mother and her basically the maternal side of things. But once we get to the little pair, another thing that I want to mention is that there were rumors of survival and all that stuff. But again, before I continue on that, both um, Olga, Tatiana... The big pair and even the little pair, Maria and Anastasia, are up on my Deviant Art page at Lollipop081 MLE. Now, continuing on, there were rumors that one of the daughters had survived um, the executions and the assassination in Ekaterinburg and whatnot, but as we all know, in reality, they, they pretty much all died. And yes, there I will put up a like a comment that I saw on one of the documentaries that I was watching. And this really this was a comment that I agreed with. Like yeah, had um the Bolsheviks did not decide to execute the children, that would have been the case. And honestly, um the two once we get to Maria and Anastasia, we'll, uh, I will discuss, like, them being, they, why they were potential survivors and whatnot. So, yeah. Oh, yes, I was, like, detailing a lot of, like, their furniture and all that stuff. And, again, with these two, I'm, I ended up making them more cool tone. Unlike, and then, uh, with Maria and Anastasia which we'll get to in a bit, um, they are, the tone, like, the shading is more warm tone, while this one is more, like, cool, a little bit more neutral or cool tone, as I like to put it, and honestly, I like their 1914 style, because that gives us their natural, their, um, signature looks, Olga with a bun and a headband, Tatiana with her short hair, and also a ribbon around the base of her hair, well, what the hand here? Here they are complete, as you can tell. Looking awesome, and now we get to Maria and Anastasia. Now we know that Anastasia is the most famous of the sisters, mostly because of the rumors of survival. Uh, A.K.A. Anna Anderson claimed that she was Anastasia for years, and even her aunt uh, Anastasia's aunt. Uh, Irene, uh, Alex's older sister, um, visit Anna Anderson and was very certain that um, Anna Anderson was not her long lost niece. And as it turns out, this woman actually did um, was a Polish woman who went to Germany, then almost committed su suicide and was committed into a hospital. Now, Getting back on track with the history, and as we all know, with all the rumors of survival, there were film adapta uh, adaptations and whatnot. So let me get to Maria first. Um, 
Maria was nicknamed Marie Saucers by the family, and she was probably named after Alex's younger sister Marie, who passed away in 1878 at age four, and of her paternal grandmother Maria Fyodorovna. And this is why I like Maria out of Otma very much. She was pretty, good natured, she had like brown hair, blue eyes, big blue eyes, she, she was flirtatious broadly built with great strength of her great father Alexander the third and she gets most of her looks from the uh, paternal side mainly her grandfather and grandmother and if you look at Maria and her grandmother uh, Maria Fyodorovna they do look pretty similar she inherited some of the Danish traits there um, because of her sweet-natured personality um maria um her father worried that maria was almost too perfect and was glad to see that she was like any other child after a surprise incident where she was very uh, mischievous and it was noted that maria was her father's favorite daughter so that's cute and one of um and one of the instances was when um her father uh, nicholas fell ill with typhoid um, Maria kept a little miniature portrait of him and gave him lots of kisses. Aww. And sometimes she was, her kindness was taken advantage of by her sisters. And, oh yeah, she was cruelly nicknamed Fat Little Bow Wow. And her cousin, Louis Mountbatten, who was the son of Alex's older sister, Victoria, and a cousin, obviously, kept a photograph of Maria by his bedside in memory of the crush he had on her before he was uh, assassinated. Also, Maria loved children as well. She was very affectionate, and had she and her family survived, she would have had a large family and a good marriage to a lucky suitor. But unfortunately, all her, her and her sisters were carriers of hemophilia, and it was reported that she hemorrhaged when she had a tons uh, a t her tonsils removed. And unlike Maria, Anastasia was a tomboy, very energetic, and the most in mischievous, who played pranks, climbed trees, gotten into snowball fights, and it was reported that she ate chocolate without taking off her long white opera gloves. Now, back on to Anastasia uh, for a second here. Um, one of the r big rumors of survival... Um, going forward, basically, there was the 1957 film about the whole survival thing. But the one that I really do like the most, even though it's not true, it's basically a love letter to Disney was Don Bluth's Anastasia from 1997. And I do recommend you watch that movie. It's amazing. But again, um, it's fiction. And Anastasia did not survive. And the other thing was that uh, Maria was rumored to have been flirtatious with one of the soldiers while in captivity. And that guard was assassinated, was dismissed, and all that stuff. That's probably because of the uh, whole docudrama series that I watched, and I'm like, that's not true at all. And stop with the whole sexual stuff. And some even say that Maria you know, actually survived. Maria survived the assassinations and uh, lived in South Africa. And there was a whole documentary on that too. But because of the bones were inconclusive, it wasn't verifiable. So, but again, it was mostly confirmed that it was Maria and her brother Alexei that were the missing bodies um, from the second grave site and they had all the families together but whatever i do like these them both and again i do my personal favorite is maria maria nikolaevna romanova and she was and she was also artistic too i forgot to mention that maria did paint she loved art and she was left-handed. That's something interesting there, too. And she is she always looked radiant, just like her sister Tatiana. Her and Tatiana were the prettiest out of Victoria, Queen Victoria's 
on the Sundance. Now, if you enjoyed this, I would recommend you subscribe to my channel at lollipop 81 mle Just right below this video, leave a like and comment. Hope you enjoyed some of these facts. Um, follow me on social media links. Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit, and DeviantArt at lollipop 81 mle And I post videos like this every Fridays and Saturdays. I'll see you next time. Peace!